It's like a surprise party that you know is happening. Or that you would never want to attend. Hey friends, and welcome to another episode of Royal Roundtable. I'm Page Six Style Editor Alana. And I'm Kristen, Page Six's Senior Social Media Editor. And we are so excited because Meghan Markle has stepped out for the first time since debuting Baby Archie, and we have much to discuss. So much. So despite rumors that Meghan would stay out of the spotlight for three months while on maternity leave, the Duchess made a surprise appearance at Trooping the Color last weekend to celebrate the Queen's birthday, just about a month after giving birth. Last year, you might remember, she attended wearing this very controversial off-the-shoulder Carolina Herrera dress that some criticized for being overly revealing for the occasion. This time, she played it more safe in a conservative outfit, a navy blue dress and matching short sleeve coat by Givenchy. How do we feel this year's look stacked up to lasts? Well, I'd like to start by saying last year's look was 10,000 times better. I know that it was controversial, but that look actually paid homage to Princess Diana. She had worn a similar pink off the shoulder look in the past. So it had royal roots. It had royal roots. Now this look, Granted, I know she gave birth five seconds ago. However, Meghan's a modern woman. She's an actress from America. She wants to make her mark on the royals. And she was not doing that with this look. This look was so safe, and she was really playing into, I think, what she would think the royals would want her to wear as 100%. in comparison to last year when she pissed them off. Totally. I mean, I personally loved her look from 2018, Royal Protocol Be Damned. Um, this just felt safe in comparison. This look did have a small surprise. There were some white contrast flutter sleeves that you saw when she uh, removed the short sleeve coat. Okay, that was literally the worst surprise of all time. If that's your idea of a su great surprise, then I don't know how we're friends. So while Megan's outfit was just okay, I think in our opinion, um, the real talking point was the sparkly new addition to her left ring finger. The Duchess was wearing a diamond eternity band, brand new, stacked alongside her engagement ring and her wedding band that some speculated was a push present from Prince Harry for giving birth to baby Archie. Others pointed out that it could easily be a wedding anniversary gift because they just celebrated their one year anniversary on May 19th. What do we think? I really hope it was a push present because I think that every woman deserves diamonds for pushing a human out of their body. Co I mean, it's, it's the least that someone could do for a woman that just gave birth. So yes, Harry, you go, Harry. So of course we covered this story and our social media followers had a lot of thoughts on this. One person said, I have never heard of anything as ridiculous as the push present with someone else jumping in saying, it's actually very common, it's a new generational thing. Others pointed out that she's our American princess and it's so lovely. And another pointed out that she looks exactly like her beautiful mother in these photos, which I thought was very sweet. It's also worth noting that Kate Middleton debuted her own Diamond Eternity band back in 2013 after she gave birth to Prince George. So my money's on a push present. Matching push presents for the royal babies. And that's not the only good news for royal fans. There is much more Meghan content to look forward to because she'll reportedly be guest editing the September issue of British Vogue this year. The Duchess will reportedly be writing an opinion piece as well as commissioning essays from a number of female change makers. And yes, there will be a brand new photo shoot which is set to take place at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor next week. Are we excited? We are beyond excited, and so are social media users who pointed out that this is a very Princess Diana thing to do for Meghan. It's also been a growing trend, celebrities guest editing magazines. Um, if you recall, Beyonce, a noted Meghan Markle fan, guest edited last year's September issue of American Vogue, so she's in good company. And Kate Middleton and Princess Diana have both appeared on the cover of British Vogue. And while guest editing a magazine might seem like an out-of-the-box choice for a member of the royal family, it's not unheard of. Prince Charles actually did it for not one, but two issues of Country Life in the past. Hmm. So leave it to Meghan to step things up and go straight to Vogue. So for those of you who don't remember, while Meghan was an actress working on Suit, she also had a lifestyle blog called The Tig that she was very devoted to. She had an Instagram, she was all over the lifestyle trend before she was Duchess. Pour one out for The Tig. And now for our Royal Fashion Obsession of the Week. It's the Wilbur and Gussie Charlie Clutch, which is owned by not one, but four members of the royal family. Meghan and Kate, along with Pippa Middleton and also Princess Beatrice. It's really cute, comes in a bunch of colors and fabrics, along with these interchangeable brooches you can put on the front of the bag, which is the most British thing I've ever heard of. And it's less than $300. Well, I can't wait to get my non-royal hands on one. It's so clutch. See you next time, royal fans. <laughs>